Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. So welcome back to another Outfits of the Week, What I Wore to Work. Today is Monday, April the 8th, and this is my outfit of the day. So I do apologize for not having outfits last week, but I was with my mom all week except Friday. So I didn't wear anything but sweatpants or I actually wore a couple skirts around the hospital and I only worked on Friday. Here's my outfit of the week. I actually got this outfit, it's a two piece. It's a dress that kind of comes close here, which is what I like. I like a clear definition between my top half and my bottom half. And then it also has pockets, which I do like pockets. It is right about knee length, which I'd like it to be a little longer, but that's perfectly fine. And this is what the back looks like. So this is a dress that I bought, well, Trandon bought it for my birthday in February, and it was a tiny bit snug in February, and it is loose today, like very loose. So I don't know, I've been waiting for the right time to wear it. I don't know how many wears I'll get. He also bought the sweater, and I'm just wearing the one button, not the top button, but the second button down closed. And I like this effect of the sweater. Now this I probably will keep through about spring and then it'll be too big as well. So I'm always looking to make sure what my arms look like. So I do still have some good wear in there. But, um, and we're in between seasons. It's warm one day, cold one day, warm one day, cold one day. So it still works out, but I love this blue color. And again, I'm trying to get some more colors into my wardrobe because you know I love black. But this is my outfit of the day. And we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. So today is Tuesday, April 9th, and here is my outfit of the day. So I am sticking with traditional black this morning. I'm teaching in four classes, so all day I'll be in a classroom. This was comfortable, it didn't need ironing, and it's very um, just teacher friendly. So I'm doing uh, wide leg pants, which I won't wear these much, much longer because they are really wide now. And I probably should have used a different top, but because this uh, cardigan covers the top, I think it's okay, but just a black top long sleeve with the red cardigan that comes down in the diagonal cut. This is one of my favorite sweaters. I did find this at Goodwill and I actually found all of these pieces at Goodwill. I think I found the shoes there as well. So I think this is a total thrift outfit. Wearing burgundy shoes with bows. This is a long sleeve but of course I just like wearing my sleeves pushed up some. So this is the outfit of the day. And we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. So today is Wednesday, April the 10th, and this is my outfit of the day. So I'm keeping it very simple today. I have on a blue. This has like a ribbed effect. This is one of my Nadine West tops. And just a regular pair of black pants with blue slack. I mean blue flats. Because I am teaching in a class today, I'm teaching two classes today, and I always try to keep pretty simple on teaching days because I'm on my feet a lot and I'm back and forth between students. So I am just wearing casual. I'm tired, it's been a long week, and I am just not recovered from all of the travel. And I'm traveling again this weekend because I'm going to be with my mom on Friday night. So I am doing my very best to recover from all of the travel, but it is a little bit of a challenge. Anyway, this top has wide sleeves and normally I would appreciate that, but for some reason it feels big. It doesn't feel like they're bell sleeves. It feels like it's just too big, but because I'm already dressed for the day and then my shoulders keep slipping, so I have to keep messing with it. I'm not changing because it is time to go to work right now, but I think this is going to have to be passed along. While it fits here, no problem, and it drapes over a little bit, 
the sleeves are what is a bother. And it wasn't like this when I originally tried it on from the bubble bag. So that is what it is. I just paired it with a simple black slack that I had in my closet that did not need ironing and it just seemed to go together for today. As a general rule, I would not pair this with a large chunky necklace, but it just seemed to be the right necklace and dog for <laughs> the outfit. So here's my outfit of the day. I do have pearl and diamond earrings to go with the chunky necklace and then silver accessories. So here it is, my outfit of the day. And we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. So today is Thursday, April 11th. And here's my outfit of the day. So I'm wearing my tan colored sweater that's cut on the bias with the side fringe and actually one of the Nadine West dresses. This is the um, rose gold color. It does have pockets on it. It's shorter than I'm comfortable with, but it's right at the knee. I'm wearing brown knee boots, gold accessories, and I think it'll be okay. I am teaching in a classroom all day today, so we're gonna pray that these boots do me well. And um, you know, it's a casual teaching day, but still a day in the classroom. So here is my outfit of the day. And we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. So today is Friday, April the 12th, and here is my outfit of the day. So I'm wearing black today because I do have a funeral to attend right after I do my last class. So I'll be leaving school just a little bit early to make sure that I'm able to get to the funeral. Nothing fancy today, no big bling earrings or anything like that, just casual jewelry. And I still do need to do my nails, so I haven't done those. But black dress, black boots, as per the occasion. So this is my outfit of the day. And we do wanna thank you so much for stopping by this week. We hope you've enjoyed this week of outfits tried not to do too much black this week but we'll see you again next week for next week's outfits of the day bye now